Um, so Narsh Cafe was established last year in February um, and the concept behind the cafe is to support local, support organic and promote wellness. Um, so we do that by using local and organic foods, produce, um, with a contemporary twist on Pacific cuisine. Um, so that's basically it. We have we cater to uh, local clientele, the local expat clientele, and also the tourism industry. There's a huge demand for a local experience. You know, as a tourist, when you go to a country, regardless of what that country is, you want an authentic experience. And I feel by offering authentic local Pacific food, we're giving them. You know, we're, we're, we're catering, catering to that. Um, yeah, so at Narsh we don't serve french fries or burgers. Um, we serve baked taro or breadfruit wedges baked in uh, coconut oil. Um, we don't use tomato sauce. Um, we make our own relishes from star fruit and uh, turmeric and tomato, um, which we serve with as condiments. Um, we don't serve fizzy drinks or you know any of that rubbish. We serve coconut and freshly squeezed lemon juice, um, fresh herbal teas, smoothies. Um, yeah, we serve have vegetarian and vegan options. We have gluten-free options. We use breadfruit and taro um, flour in many of our dishes. Um, yeah, we use laupele, which I think in Fiji is called Bele and in the Solomon Islands is called Nika. So we use Lao Pele, which prior to my cafe, to the cafe was not, to my knowledge, used any, in any eateries around Samoa. And now it's become a trending thing where people use it in their dishes, but also in their smoothies.